kind of very simple. I mean, ultimately, it's I tried to resurrect uh, what used to be the third largest watch company in the United States. Um, and the contract to get the trademark uh, was not secured properly. And then by the time I realized that, you know, I was already in three and a half, four million dollars, I'm chasing my money. And um, by the time uh, the fall of last year came, I realized that it was a legal matter. And it's not something I can manage anymore until it comes back to me through the legal process. And that's what's happening now. So on May 29th, uh, we were uh, able to get uh, you know, a favorable ruling so that uh, Max Wistow, who's really? kind of known as, as a premier attorney in the state, is now hired by the receiver for Benris uh, to, to go after uh, all the wrongdoing in that situation. Um, and I will say that, um, you know, when they talk about the creditors for ben Benris, just remember one thing. I'm its largest creditor, <laughs> okay? I'm its largest creditor and largest investor. Okay, so I'm rooting for the receiver to get all of that back, okay? And, and the fact is, you know, I, I believe that, you know, the judiciary, the judges and all that, I'm not here to interfere with that process. So has it been difficult for a year and a half to sit there while I read misinformation and, you know, all this other stuff? Yeah, it's been, you know, it's not, it doesn't feel good. But, uh, but the reality is, you know, I've done so much in my life that I would hope you'd understand. We didn't kind of get into some of the things that's on my brochures that hopefully a lot of you have. You know, I was the first ever liaison from the United States Central Command to the United States government, you know, to the CIA, FBI, DEA, um, Department of the Treasury, Department of State, and Department of Homeland Security. I built a billion dollar company, you know. Uh, I've done all these things in life. Uh, can I get it all perfect? No. Do I make personal mistakes? Absolutely. But I also think it's unfair. It's like, you know, someone asking me like, hey, you didn't build another billion dollar company. I'm like, oh, come on, you know. Are you asking uh, someone so to land on the moon twice? Like, it's, you know, do, do I get to say I did that, you know, and I just didn't choose to go golf for the rest of my life. You know, I could have done that. I chose not to do it. I wanted to create more jobs for Rhode Island. And when we get that back, uh, we are going to create all those jobs. I just was not going to build a company for somebody else when I didn't own the mark. I wasn't going to do all that because what I control is distribution. I control all of you know the banking relationships, all the all the things that I could have blown up in a positive way, Benris with. I just wasn't going to do it until we secured the mark trademark, and that's what that's all about.